between 0 and 2. The first time we're going to use 4 rectangles. The second time we're going to use 6 rectangles. So, dip, excuse me, different curve than we had yesterday. But we're going to start by doing uh, 4 partitions. Now, um, if we're doing the upper sum first, it really doesn't matter which one we do first since it asks us for both, but they did list upper first. So I'm going to find the upper sum first. Now tell me, looking at the curve here, is it going to be left-handed or right-handed for an upper sum? It's going to be right-handed because, for this reason, look, if we start on the left side of this interval, our first rectangle actually isn't a rectangle. It doesn't have any area. Then our second one, okay, these are all under approximations and now that I've drawn them might as well start with those okay um, four rectangles even though that first one really doesn't have any area so our lower sum I did but a lot of people said left-handed rectangle so I was showing you that the left-handed is not the upper sum as it was yesterday the left-handed is a lower sum. Okay, I asked, I asked which one would give us an upper sum. I heard more people say left-handed rectangles than right-handed rectangles. It's, it's not correct, right? It's not correct, but I went ahead and started drawing them to show you why it was not correct. So since I went ahead and drew those, let's just go ahead and find the lower sum, okay? Sorry for the confusion there. Okay, so the lower sum, I'm going to put left-handed under here, just in parentheses. So again, it has to do with the concavity. If you look back at example one, those were left-handed, but those gave us an upper sum. But that was concave down. This one's concave up. All right. So our lower sum here, um, the width, I don't know why I just put a negative there. Um, the width is 0.5. That first height is zero. Okay, you really don't have to put that part, but I'm putting it in there just for the sake of when you look back. All right, the second interval has a width of 0.5, okay, um, but its height, when we plug 0.5 into that function, when we square 0.5, we do get 0.25 or uh, one fourth. I'm going to go with fractions. Uh, the next one is a width of 0.5. When we plug in 1, we still get 1. The last one, width of 0.5. The height, when you square 3 halves, you get 9 fourths. Or 2.25, yes. Okay, so if I'm trying to sum these together without using a calculator, um, then that's not supposed to be 1 over 0.4. Okay, um, we've got 0 for the first one. We have a half times a fourth, that gives us an eighth. We have a half times one, which is a half, but it's going to need to be over eight, so I'm going to go ahead and write it as four over eight. And then a half times nine fourths is uh, nine over eight. Add those together, we get 14 over eight, which simplifies to seven over four. That is our lower sum. What was that, 1.75 as a decimal? Okay, that just gives us a little bit more meaning as far as area. You can visualize 1.75 a lot easier than you can 7 over 4. Okay, so then let's do the upper sum. The upper sum in this case is going to be the right-handed rectangles. And remember, that means we start on the right side of our interval. So we start at x equals 2, go to its y value on the curve, and draw our rectangle. And then we go to 1.5, draw that rectangle. 1, draw that rectangle. 0.5, draw that rectangle. So this time, our first rectangle there has a width still of 0.5. Its height, though, 
is one fourth. Our second one is 0.5, its height is one. I'm just using my calculations from earlier. Our third one is a height of nine over four. We need to uh, calculate for the last one. We did not calculate one for two. Two squared is of course four. So we've got one eighth plus four eighths plus nine eighths plus 0.5 times 4 is 2, but I need that as 8, so that's 16 over 8. So we have 14 plus 16 is 30. And 8 goes into 30 3 times with 6 left over, and 6 over 8 reduces to 3 fourths, so 3.75. So a much larger gap between our upper and lower sums than we had the first time. The first time they only differed by one squared unit. This time they differ by two squared units. Okay, um, let's do it again. It says to then use six rectangles. Now I don't know that I put this, uh, I don't think I have an extra copy of this on your paper. Okay. Um, so if you just want to kind of watch or if you just want to put the calculations on your paper, that's fine. Okay, so now, up till now, dividing our intervals has been pretty easy, but if we want to divide two units into six even intervals, how long does each interval need to be? Hmm? 0.33. 0.33, a third. Okay, we need to split this up into thirds. Okay. Um, so this is where it just comes in handy, you know, using the function uh, to analyze. So we've got uh, one-third, two-thirds, one, four-thirds, five-thirds, and six-thirds, which is two. Okay, so those are going to be our intervals. Um, I'm just going to stick with the same order if we do the lower sum first, which would be the left-handed. Okay, uh, we start on the left side and go from there. One, two, three. Oh, I skipped one. It's like that's not looking right. I know, I know. It's because my, I'm not very good at drawing, um, thirds here apparently. Because some of them are bigger than others, but it's okay. All right, so our lower sum, the first one is zero times the third, okay, um, plus one third squared is one ninth times the width is still one third. When we square two thirds, we get four over nine. Width is still one third. Plus, uh, the next one is one, so that's one times one third. Four thirds squared is 16 over nine times one third. Plus five thirds squared is 25 over nine times one third. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six rectangles. Now, is there something I can do to this to make my calculations a little less tedious? Simplify the work that I have to do. Yeah, you can take out a one third. They all have one third in them. So why don't I just add up all those numbers that are over nine first and then multiply the result by one third, okay? So let's see here. We've got one third times, we've got one, five, uh, that would be three over three. So eight plus 16 is 24. Plus 25 is 49. Oh. Mm. Yes. I know. You're right. Over 9. So 54. Yes, 54 over 9. Thank you. Um, so let's see here. 3 times 9 is 27. Oh, that's convenient. What does that give us? 2. Okay. So our lower sum is a little bit greater than it just was, which makes sense because you can see 
that the gaps between these rectangles and the curve are a little less significant than they were when we only had four partitions, okay? Um, so really quickly, if we do the upper sum, the only difference with the upper sum is going to be that we don't have the zero over, or the zero times one-third. We've got all the other numbers, so we've got the 54 over 9, plus we've got, what, uh, the 2, okay, for the upper, so that's 4 over 9 is 36. 54 plus 36 is uh, 90, right? 90 yeah, 90 over 9, which is 10. So we've got 10 thirds, which is approximately 3.33. Uh, my right-handed sum, or my upper sum here, is not going to have the first one. It's going to have all the other ones, plus the normal end. First rectangle in that case would be the uh, two, which two squared is four. Four expressed. Okay. So I could have gone through, and I could have redrawn all these rectangles starting from the right side. But look, all the ones in the middle, so to speak, repeat. The only one that doesn't is the very, very first one. Okay, so on the right side, this rectangle right here has a height of what? Four. Four, Four expresses something over nine is 36 over nine. Gotcha. That's what the 36 over awesome. Y'all on the same page now? You, you don't want really minutes. Know. How, what? They're not the same, but look, all of these, it's just shifted over, but it has the same height. This one's over here, but it has the same height. So they're repeating, okay? The only difference <coughs> is we don't have this one. We've got the one on the end instead, so I didn't use the two to zero anyways, but I didn't use that piece. I replaced it with the one on the far right, the one that had a height of four. Four is 36 over nine. Okay, um, and you can see that upper sum is now less. Um, it's not quite as much of an overestimation, and you can see my right aren't drawn very precisely here, but you can see that they are not as much of an overestimation as these in the first one. So, okay? lesson learned is the more rectangles we break these Exactly. The more partitions we break these intervals into, the more accurate our answers are going to be to the actual area. Cool. Okay? So, pretty neat, right?